Test five. Listening. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Part one. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct picture. Look at question one. One. Where will David put his sister's mobile phone? What's wrong, Angela? I've lost my phone, David. I think I left it on my bookshelf this morning. Look, here it is. It's on the sofa. Shall I leave it there or put it back on your bookshelf? Please leave it on that little table in my bedroom, and I'll take it with me when I leave home. Okay, fine. Now listen again. What's wrong, Angela? I've lost my phone, David. I think I left it on my bookshelf this morning. Look, here it is. It's on the sofa. Shall I leave it there or put it back on your bookshelf? Please leave it on that little table in my bedroom, and I'll take it with me when I leave home. Okay, fine. Two. What will the girl buy? Hello, can I help you? I'm not sure what to buy for my brother. He wants to use the internet, but he's interested in photography too. So I thought I might buy him a camera or a computer. Computers are a bit expensive. What about a mobile phone? Then he can use the internet and take photos. That sounds like a good idea to me. Now listen again. Hello, can I help you? I'm not sure what to buy for my brother. He wants to use the internet, but he's interested in photography too. So I thought I might buy him a camera or a computer. Computers are a bit expensive. What about a mobile phone? Then he can use the internet and take photos. That sounds like a good idea to me. Three. How much did the boy's father pay for the TV? Wow, that's a big TV, Tom. Isn't it great? My dad got it for a really good price. My parents bought one last month for three hundred and fifty pounds. But it's not as big as yours. We bought it for an amazing price. It was three hundred and seventy-five pounds before, but it was on sale, so it only cost two hundred and fifty pounds. You were lucky. Shall we watch a film? Good idea. Now listen again. Wow, that's a big TV, Tom. Isn't it great? My dad got it for a really good price. My parents bought one last month for three hundred and fifty pounds, but it's not as big as yours. We bought it for an amazing price. It was three hundred and seventy-five pounds before, but it was on sale, so it only cost two hundred and fifty pounds. You were lucky. Shall we watch a film? Good idea. Four. What did the cat break? Who broke that? I was making a cup of tea to have with my sandwich when I saw that the cat was on the kitchen table. And what happened? I shouted at the cat because it was going to eat the sandwich from my plate. Then it jumped off the table and knocked the lamp on the floor. I was sad to see my nice lamp was broken. Now listen again. Who broke that? I was making a cup of tea to have with my sandwich when I saw that the cat was on the kitchen table. 
And what happened? I shouted at the cat because it was going to eat the sandwich from my plate. Then it jumped off the table and knocked the lamp on the floor. I was sad to see my nice lamp was broken. Five. Which man is the girl's father? In my opinion, this is the best digital camera that is available in our shop now, Debbie. Why do you think it's worth buying it, Dad? Well, many top photographers and journalists use it. It's got a big memory, and the battery lasts longer than most cameras. But it is very expensive, isn't it? Yes, we also have cheaper cameras at the shop, but this one really is the best. Now listen again. In my opinion, this is the best digital camera that is available in our shop now, Debbie. Why do you think it's worth buying it, Dad? Well, many top photographers and journalists use it. It's got a big memory and the battery lasts longer than most cameras. But it is very expensive, isn't it? Yes, we also have cheaper cameras at the shop, but this one really is the best. That is the end of part one. Test five. Part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a teacher talking to a group of students about a careers event. I know you are preparing for the test on Monday, June the ninth. However, because you are final year students, you need to think about a career too. So, before term ends on June the twentieth, someone will visit the school on June seventeenth to give careers advice. On this day, you will be able to find out about many different occupations. We hope that this will help you choose an interesting career. It's never too early to start thinking about the future. The event will be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., from 11 a.m. until midday. The first talk will be for anyone interested in science and technology, and from 2 p.m. until 3 p.m. The second talk will be about languages. If you would like more details, please speak to Mr. Rogers. That's R O G E. R S. He will add your name to a list of those interested in the event. There is also an information sheet at the back of the hall that you can take home with you to read. Now listen again. I know you are preparing for the test on Monday, June the ninth. However, because you are final year students, you need to think about a career too. So, before term ends. On June the twentieth, someone will visit the school on June seventeenth to give careers advice. On this day, you will be able to find out about many different occupations. We hope that this will help you choose an interesting career. It's never too early to start thinking about the future. The event will be from nine a.m. to four p.m., from eleven a.m. until midday. The first talk will be for anyone interested in science and technology. And from 2 p.m. until 3 p.m., the second talk will be about languages. If you would like more details, please speak to Mr. Rogers. That's R O G E R S. He will add your name to a list of those interested in the event. There is also an information sheet at the back of the hall that you can take home with you to read. That is the end of part two. Test five, part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds.
You will hear a sports teacher talking to a student, Tom, about an after-school swimming club. Hello, Tom. I see your name isn't on the list for the after-school swimming club. Yes, I know that, Miss Helen. I thought you wanted to be in the school swimming team. I do, but do you think I'm good enough? If you practice, yes. That's the problem. I can't come twice a week. Too much homework. It's not just that. My parents both work, so they can't take me back home by car. I usually have to go home by bus. It's too far to walk, you see. So why can't you come to the club and just leave school later? Because I have to go home with my sister. She's younger than you, isn't she? Yes, my parents think she's too young to travel alone. I suppose so. Does she like swimming? Not as much as studying. Do you think she might join the swimming club? Then you could still go home together. She might agree to come and watch, but she won't take part. Okay. Why don't you ask her if she wants to come? So it's not too late to add my name to the list. Not if you do it before the end of the week. There are still two places left. Okay, I hope my sister agrees. Now listen again. Hello, Tom. I see your name isn't on the list for the after-school swimming club. Yes, I know that, Miss Helen. I thought you wanted to be in the school swimming team. I do, but do you think I'm good enough? If you practice, yes. That's the problem. I can't come twice a week. Too much homework. It's not just that. My parents both work, so they can't take me back home by car. I usually have to go home by bus. It's too far to walk, you see. So why can't you come to the club and just leave school later? Because I have to go home with my sister. She's younger than you, isn't she? Yes. My parents think she's too young to travel alone. I suppose so. Does she like swimming? Not as much as studying. Do you think she might join the swimming club? Then you could still go home together. She might agree to come and watch, but she won't take part. Okay. Why don't you ask her if she wants to come? So it's not too late to add my name to the list. Not if you do it before the end of the week. There are still two places left. Okay, I hope my sister agrees. That is the end of part three. Test five, part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a brother and sister talking together. Where are they? Have you got everything you need now? Nearly. I just need one more thing. Okay, but I'm getting hungry. Oh, look at this! It's lovely. I'll buy it. There's only one left, and it's my size. Well, please be quick, as the chemist will close soon, and I need some medicine. Now listen again. Have you got everything you need now? Nearly. I just need one more thing. Okay, but I'm getting hungry. Oh, look at this! It's lovely. I'll buy it. There's only one left, and it's my size. Well, please be quick, as the chemist will close soon, and I need some medicine. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking. What does the girl have to do on Saturday? Let's go to the beach on Saturday. Don't tell me you need to do your homework again. This time I have to stay home for another reason. I can't leave Bella, my dog, alone. Well, bring her to the beach too. She'll love it there. Okay then. I'll also bring a ball for her to play with. Now listen again. Let's go to the beach on Saturday. Don't tell me you need to do your homework again. 
This time I have to stay home for another reason. I can't leave Bella, my dog, alone. Well, bring her to the beach too. She'll love it there. Okay then. I'll also bring a ball for her to play with. Eighteen. You will hear a teacher talking to one of his students. Why was Sarah late for school? Hi, Sarah. You're late. You didn't have a problem with the traffic, did you? Your dad drives you to school, doesn't he? It wasn't too bad actually, but my brother had to go on a trip today, and my dad drove him to the station, so I had to come to school on foot. My house is a bit far, you know. Okay then, I understand. Now listen again. Hi, Sarah. You're late. You didn't have a problem with the traffic, did you? Your dad drives you to school, doesn't he? It wasn't too bad actually, but my brother had to go on a trip today, and my dad drove him to the station, so I had to come to school on foot. My house is a bit far, you know. Okay then, I understand. Nineteen. You will hear two classmates talking. Why is the girl upset? Congratulations, Jill. Thanks, Tony. You don't sound too happy. You got the best grades for maths. Yes, that's why I should have the maths prize. I understand, but the prize is only for the student who has improved most over the whole year. But I studied hard too. I know. Maybe I would think the same as you. If my grades were as good as yours, now listen again. Congratulations, Jill. Thanks, Tony. You don't sound too happy. You got the best grades for maths. Yes, that's why I should have the maths prize. I understand, but the prize is only for the student who has improved most over the whole year. But I studied hard too. I know. Maybe I would think the same as you if my grades were as good as yours. Twenty. You will hear a boy talking about his teacher. What do we know about Mr. King's new car? I saw Mr. King park a new car outside the school yesterday. His brother has lent it to him, and he can keep it until he gets his license. His brother decided to buy the car before getting his license first, because he saw it in the sale. What a strange thing to do! Now listen again. I saw Mr. King park a new car outside the school yesterday. His brother has lent it to him, and he can keep it until he gets his license. His brother decided to buy the car before getting his license first, because he saw it in the sale. What a strange thing to do! That is the end of part four. Test five, part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Jim and Lisa talking about a school project. What did each student choose to put in the time box? That was a fun lesson. I think we all chose interesting things to put in the time box. Yes, they would certainly help people in the future understand how we live our lives today. Your idea was popular, Jim. Well, everyone uses mobile phones for chatting, listening to music, and playing games. That's true, but I didn't like Fiona's idea. I know. Who plays board games today? Claire's idea was better. You can learn a lot from a photo. What people wore, for example. Yes, but you could learn more about clothes by looking at a fashion book. I agree. What did you think of Jack's choice? 
You mean the menu that he chose? It's an interesting idea, but it wouldn't give much information about what we eat today. Yes, a food magazine would be better. I'm surprised you didn't choose that, Lisa. You love food. Not as much as I love going out and listening to music. And spending money. That's why I thought about choosing money for the time box. If I didn't choose that, I'm sure I would choose the MP3 player. But Kevin got there first. Anyway, an MP3 player is still a good idea. Now listen again. That was a fun lesson. I think we all chose interesting things to put in the time box. Yes, they would certainly help people in the future understand how we live our lives today. Your idea was popular, Jim. Well, everyone uses mobile phones for chatting, listening to music, and playing games. That's true, but I didn't like Fiona's idea. I know. Who plays board games today? Claire's idea was better. You can learn a lot from a photo. What people wore, for example. Yes. But you could learn more about clothes by looking at a fashion book. I agree. What did you think of Jack's choice? You mean the menu that he chose? It's an interesting idea, but it wouldn't give much information about what we eat today. Yes, a food magazine would be better. I'm surprised you didn't choose that, Lisa. You love food. Not as much as I love going out and listening to music. And spending money. That's why I thought about choosing money for the time box. If I didn't choose that, I'm sure I would choose the MP3 player. But Kevin got there first. Anyway, an MP3 player is still a good idea. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.